Everyone agrees that apple cider vinegar is highly beneficial, but what most people don't agree on is how much you actually need to drink in order to get results. Let's look at what the science says. Hey Wellness Warrior, I'm Dr. Nick Sarowski, and apple cider vinegar isn't very confusing. You drink it and it offers you some pretty good results. But what has been very clearly shown in the science is that the results are dose dependent. If you're not drinking the right amount, you will not get as good of results as if you were. So let's take a look at all the different issues that you would tend to drink apple cider vinegar for, and let's see how much you need according to the research in order to improve your health. Now the first topic we're gonna look at is blood sugar. If if you want to lower your blood sugar or if you want to improve your insulin sensitivity, we know that apple cider vinegar beyond a shadow of a doubt can do this. But the question becomes how much do you need? And one of the things that I put on here is also if you're looking to lower your cholesterol or if you're trying to fight PCOS, this also applies to you because when you look at blood sugar, it tends to be wrapped up in metabolic syndrome with high cholesterol, high blood sugar, and some other issues to go along with it. So we're going to use the same amount for all of these issues. So if you're looking to lower blood sugar, what you are going to want to do according to the science is consume right around one and a half tablespoons of apple cider vinegar and you're going to want to do this either before or after a meal. Lowering your blood sugar, that's how much you'll need per day in order to get good results. But let's take a look at weight loss. What's needed in order to actually help you lose weight? Because we see all over the internet that apple cider vinegar is amazing for weight loss. It's been shown to increase satiety, helping you eat fewer calories throughout the day, and also even improve your insulin sensitivity, like we just mentioned, which also is a big factor in being able to lose weight. So let's see what the science shows us. Well, according to the research, you're going to need to consume around one to two tablespoons one to two times per day in order to get some results with weight loss. There's two studies I want to mention. There was a study where they had participants take apple cider vinegar, this amount, for three months. And what they found is that on average, people lost between two and four pounds. Okay, they did nothing else but drink apple cider vinegar and that was the result. There was another study where they took participants who they had drink apple cider vinegar and a group who they didn't. And the participants who drank the apple cider vinegar saw two times the weight loss compared to those who didn't. So it's been shown to help with weight loss and that's how much you should consume. Now let's talk about improved digestion. Now apple cider vinegar has been shown to help with bloating and also just some digestive irritation. It's been shown to increase pepsin, which is an enzyme that's going to help you break down your food. It also has been shown to help balance the pH in your gut. And many times when this pH imbalance occurs, you're going to get a lot of bloating associated with it. So apple cider vinegar comes in for the rescue and really helps here. But how much should you consume? Well, according to the research, right around one to two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Now you're recognizing a common theme here. One and a half tablespoons, one to two tablespoons, and one to two tablespoons. Tablespoons. Well, this is because, as I mentioned before, the research shows that apple cider vinegar seems to be dose dependent. And if you're not consuming enough of it, you don't get results. And of course, you don't want to be consuming too much of it either because you're going to end up with an upset stomach. So if we use one to two tablespoons, one to two times per day, it seems to be the place you need to be. And what I like to do personally is one to two tablespoons two times a day. Now a big question too is if you are going to take apple cider vinegar capsules, well how much apple cider vinegar is in a capsule? Well if you're using the capsules I recommend, which I'll put some resources in the description for this, what you're going to find per capsule it's going to be equivalent to one tablespoon. And I understand that drinking apple cider vinegar is not for everybody, so using the capsules is the best option for some people. Now, the other big question that so many people ask is, well, what is better, using the apple cider vinegar capsules or even using the liquid? I'm gonna answer that question for you in this video right here.